So thank you for joining the I am meditation, uh, the I am study class um, based on the Gospel of John. And uh, it's such pleasure for me to read it. It's like every time something happens when I read it, oh, so beautiful. So that's the same with today too. Um, um, really great. I am the living God, the way, the truth, and the life. And so I don't know if you uh, have read chapter 13 and 14 or parts of it. Um, it is so full of um, I am expressions and so full of fundamental um, expressions of Jesus, which he confirms truth, like expresses truth directly to whoever wants to hear it. And um, the way that he does that is in a as a total invitation. So this is hopefully a continuation of that. And this, this class is like an invitation to include yourself into what is being shared and not separate yourself off at all. Like, no, this is about you. This is your time now to to listen to John and to to hear these expressions and let them deeply enter into your consciousness and, and recognize that this expression has always been in you and, you and you will recognize that. You will recognize that in every part or fiber of your being, so to speak. And that's why I love it. Like you can, I can actually not read it without having an experience, because it's the continuous exp uh, invitation to to yeah to surrender, in fact, into Christ's mind, to join with the mind of Jesus, to um, to be open to light, to receive light, and and that's such a joy. That's so great to remember that and do that and practice that and meditate on it, contemplate it, and. Uh, take some of these sentences with you for a moment and and enjoy them and and see how much say truth is in them how open you can be for this like totally lovely so yeah that's that's great that's already so amazing what an amazing gift to do this and to share this with you is really incredible too it's like so great to do the meditation in a moment and um, uh, to to see how this affects you how this can come to you that you literally breathe in these expressions and that you um, say can become so open and say vulnerable that that you can yeah you can take that in so to speak and it resonates and that's my ex my experience it's like it resonates on such a deep level and that that is like oh my god how how can i continue being in this or how can i invite myself to come uh, and remember this what is being shared so this is um, my my pitch my <laughs> <laughs> I tried to sell the Gospel of John. So there's more in the Bible that's very interesting, and you know this. Uh, like um, Isaiah is very interesting too. And um, so who knows, we might dive into that too, because that is so packed and full too. And I love to, I love to refresh that in my memory. And um, I hope that you do that too. So that's the same with John. We keep it with John today and uh, in the next weeks that we still work with the Gospel of John chapter. So reading the chapter, uh, reading 13 and 14, that's a basically what we're going to do today, like going through parts of it because it is so packed full that you could do like six classes about John 13 and 14. It's really like that because the expressions are famous. Like there are so many postcards and stickers and, and Instagram posts and and you name it, videos. Uh, it's being presented in all kinds of ways. But that doesn't mean that you're going to stand still and really let it in. No, this is the time that you can do that now by by focusing on parts of it, staying with it for a moment, 
letting it come to you. So this is my invitation to you to just let this in and and you don't have to understand it, you don't have to, you know, do anything with it except letting yourself be affected by it. Some that is more like what I would love you to do. And you definitely don't have to remember it because you can always pick up the book and then it goes by itself. You, like you see that you have a memory with this anyway. It is it is something that you remember that is true about you. So that part that recognizes it is truth itself. So enough said as an introduction in that sense. So I want to uh, start with the parts of... Um, uh, say chapter 13 uh, let me see where that is at yeah that's page 28 of the little booklet that we have the Aramaic version I made a little print of it a nice little booklet out of it and it is the original Aramaic New Testament in plain English translated by uh, David uh, David uh, Bauscher a Lulu Publishing. On Lulu you can download this for free. Um, so we come back to certain expressions because they um, it is unusual that someone talks to you like that and that's what you discover in, in John. Like there's a direct door opening when, when Jesus says like timeless to truth I speak to you that's like okay well <laughs> there's nothing else to say about that this is timeless truth being spoken to you so these parts I'm going to lift them up a little bit like I take them out of the text and repeat them to you and see what that what it holds what it shares with you and the parts where I say, like, I'm the living God, when I see that, I I go like, oh, yeah, here it is. Wow, that's so wonderful. So on this, on this page 28, I see it here. It's like, timeless truth I speak to you. Let's see, I'll light it up too. Timeless truth I speak to you. There is no servant greater than his master and no apostle greater than he who sent him. So this is uh, important to remember because we, we're going through the text and you will see that this uh, repeats itself in a certain sense. Timeless truth I speak to you. There is no servant greater than his master and no apostle greater than he who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. I have not spoken about all of you, for I know those who whom I have chosen, but that the scripture may be fulfilled. He that who eats bread with me has lifted up his heel against me. So, and this is what Jesus is already announcing, like somebody is going to betray him. Now I'm telling you, before it happens, that when it has occurred, you shall believe that I am the living God. This is in 19. So in 20 it continues, Timeless truth I speak to you, whoever receives him who I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. Timeless truth I speak to you, whoever receives him who I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. Well, that is like, okay, is this a word game or what is Jesus doing here? <laughs> Am I trying to follow? The, can I follow what he says? And actually, it's like when you hear this, you directly hear it well. And and your mind can do something with it that you think that you don't understand and that is complicated and all that. It's like, no, no, actually you hear what this says. It's like, like whoever is going to be sent to you sharing this truth in you going to receive that that is what is um, that is what is the opportunity and that is what is giving you to do like 
then you're actually accepting me, is what Jesus says. When you accept the one that I send, you actually are accepting me. And that is the same with Jesus was sent by God to express this, like your Christ mind is given to you and it's up to you to accept that, to, to invite the guest, so to speak, invite the guest in, allow your Christ consciousness to shine in you. It is sent to you, you receive messages that it's there. You you read about it. You see this in all kinds of ways. It's it's like given to you to receive this. Now it's up to you to receive this guest, because by and by receiving this guest, you actually are accepting God. See, and this this comes back in chapter fourteen too, in which which Jesus says like nobody comes to the Father but by me alone. See, and that is, that's again, like, okay, so I'm accepting my Christ mind in that I directly communicate with my Creator, with God. And it has to go that way. Like, I cannot figure it out on personal title. You know this, but it's, it's nice to look at it this way and see how internalized this, this is, you know, how much this has to do with your purity and your, and your being. So that's a beautiful expression of that. And, and then it becomes even more, like there's no, um, in, in a liberating sense, there's no escape of this either. Like you will accept this guest. It is knocking on the door and you just have to open. It's a bit like that. Like open that. Stop defending yourself in other words. Stop stop resisting it. Now this is an invitation to open the door. Let your Christ mind come in and be in your awareness. That's the only thing that's in fact being asked, you know. In that recognition, in that in that action of mind, uh, you actually are start to communicate through your Christ mind with with your Holy Spirit, with God, and enter into a Trinity set up in your mind. And when I say in the mind, it is not your human mind. It is like no, this is everything that is. This is the universal mind see but the entrance is through the door through the gate through the portal like we did the other day i'm the the gate i'm the portal and you come to god through me and it's not it is not an um say um it's not like you have to do it like this, otherwise it's not going to happen. <laughs> if you, It's not a, a dictator kind of expression. No, it's an invitation. It is also stating timeless truth. It is stating what is already so. So it's purely on the basis of acceptance. It's not that that, that um, is now being enforced on you. So, and that's why it's interesting to see that things like sacrifice or uh, rituals in which you sacrifice something like we did in the past, um, uh, especially in certain kinds of religion that you give up your this or you give up that or you pay so much to the church in order to sacrifice for your sins or stuff like that. It's like, well, that is like an immense, um, an immense confusion if you see how delicate and how precious this is, an invitation from the inside, where you literally start to receive this for yourself in all intimacy, not anything else. Like, no, you're going to open this inner door of your awareness where, where you let everything come up that's in the way and let that be healed or let that be gone so that you can be in a direct uh, communication with your creator which is the most natural thing that you can possibly do wow okay 
that was refreshing. Uh, so opening the door from inside and that is how how can we help each other in doing that how can we lower the threshold or how can we make ourselves feel even more comfortable to do this um, one thing that really helps for me too is to look at the insanity of the defense that you're um, say prolonging uh, the defense that you still believe is is helpful to you to a certain extent or at least it's familiar to you and and you accept the habit that you have to do that so that will not give you any new experience so and that is really also like an, a real knock on the door it's like wait a minute if i do that that's not going to help me to to open up and come into an experience of communication so seeing that there's nothing to fear seeing that this is timeless truth that's been spoken to you and then it's not like okay i gotta take that really serious or something it's like no this is the truth about you this is the truth about you so look at what you think is in the way of it and you you actually are going to laugh about it it's like what am i afraid of to let this happen why wouldn't i want to be in a full recognition of the truth of who i am you know and that's too easy when i say it like this i know that but in fact it is like yeah that alleviates you from from the pain that you're fighting or the pain that you're disgusting or the, the who knows what is going on in which you see that you're actually resisting just who you are and uh, not allowing yourself to be saved you know so this is different an intimate invitation to allow this to occur to you and um, today is the perfect day for that like there couldn't be a better moment you don't have to postpone it any longer to let this occur like everything is set right i've prepared a place for you is what jesus says in 14 too like i've prepared a place for you i'm going to to come back to join with you and bring you back where you belong you know it's like i'm i'm even gonna pick you up you know in whatever way that comes to you like you're going to be picked up and you were chosen you were you are part of this so you're going to be picked up and and, and invited to join to return back where you belong like to return back to your christhood and that's a journey without distance, of, of course, because it's still happening in you. You don't need to go anywhere for it, but it is, it is happening here in you. And um, uh, apparently today is the day for, that, for you to, to let that happen, to, to have this door being opened in you, in which you, say, literally are taken home to yourself. <laughs> I like this too. This is beautiful. So this 30, 30, verse 30 from 13, chapter 13. But Jehuda took the bread immediately and he went outside. And it was night when he left. And Jeshua said, Now the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. And if God is glorified in him, God is also glorif glorifies him in himself and at once glorifies him. So I repeat this. Jeshua said, Now the Son of Man is glorified and God is glorified in him. And if God is glorified in him, God is also glorifies him in himself and at once glorifies him this is interesting isn't it so he ends up coming with a new commandment i will share that with you in a second so here's this glorification part it's like 
well let's take that as an as an idea it's like as soon as you open this door in you allow this door to be opened so that your christ consciousness can be in your awareness in the glorifying part is is going to be your experience of it you you understand suddenly you start to see your holiness you start to come in touch with your holiness with that what shines in you and is in direct communication with everything that is see and that is an experience that is that is an um, a moment for yourself where, where you can actually not talk about you know it's like god is and then we cease to speak it is it is like that like glorifying is not what you think it is no glorifying is a direct experience of of itself and and that's the yeah i love that uh, that's a beautiful way to keep it that way too it's like there's no need to talk about that or to to say how wonderful it is but it's more like that is your expression that's your um, revelation given to you for you to to come to see that to to literally have that be revealed to you so that's the glorification part like you you don't have to glorify god with words or with with wonderful poems or who knows what it's like well that will be a yeah delusion of it like it it is not what it's going to what's being shared it's not the words and um, that you use or anything like that no this is your individual intimate beautiful um say revelation or experience yeah experience of it so like i said jesus comes with a new um commandment and and you know this one very well this it's just, see it's all famous in that sense and these are all the john classics that you can find in in on tiles in kitchens and all that <laughs> i give a new commandment to you love one another just as i have loved you you should also love one another love one another just as i have loved you you should also love one another now the specific part in it is as i have loved you like the way that i love you love one another the way that i have loved you uh, the confusion that has been there is the confusion that there would be like a sacrifice like jesus sacrificed his life for the love of you i know that i've been bombarded with it and i know that was never true that never felt true either so the beautiful thing then is and that love one another the way i have loved you is in fact leaving you completely free to be yourself not asking anything of you just absolutely loving you the way that you are not needing anything for that not asking any no demands or no um, conditions no none of that you know so this is the the pure unconditional love if you want um, and it goes a step further than that even like the condition the unconditional love is actually a conditional love it is uh, on the condition of timeless truth like it is literally where we are made of so another thing where you where you in fact um have nothing to say about in a sense like this is just the reality of who you are allow each other to be as you are allow everyone to come to like christ recognition to come into an experience of your of totality share that with one another offer each other miracles offer each other a holy instant you know and drop your defenses drop everything that isn't you in fact and allow yourself to be as you are in that you will 
automatically love one another as I have loved you. You know, so this is directly, you know, <laughs> it's like so direct. It is directly what it is. It is not describing what you should do or anything like that. No, this is a recognition of the truth of who you are. And and that's why it's so beautiful and direct. You can feel it when you when you read it. You don't have to derive anything out of this. Like you don't have to come up with um, things that need to happen first before this is true. No, this is the truth of you. And you can experience it. And you can give this to one another. So there's, there's no, in that sense, there's no escape out of what is being shared. And, and no escape means like it puts you right in the place where truth is. It, it just remember, yeah, it just wants you to remember that and, and come into the direct experience of that. So you could say like this is a portal in itself by reading this, by um, not associating with it, but letting this affect you or letting this be a remembrance in you, it actually becomes a portal itself. Okay, so here's another one um, that is very famous. Um, that is this one. Let not your heart be troubled. This is in 14 on page 29. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God and believe in me. There are many lodgings in my father's house. And if not, I would have told you. Because I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go prepare a place for you, I shall come again and bring you to join me that where I am you shall also be, and where I'm going you know, and you know the way. See, this is the same, and it's like referring back to this is what it is. This is the place where we meet. This is the place where we uh, communicate. This is the place where we can be completely vulnerable, allowing ourselves to be like fully present in Christ awareness. This is where we know each other from. This is where we come back to. This is where why we meditate. This is why we meet to to join in that uh, presence, in that place, and um, that place without limits, that place without yeah without restrictions or limitations or demands or no. This is a pure the pure temple where we meet. So incredible to read this. It's like it goes one on top of another. It's like, oh my God, I can't believe it. What is in here? Like, let not your heart be troubled. Why would you worry about a thing in that sense if you know this to be true? Why Why would your heart be troubled and, and occupy your mind? Why would you want to occupy your mind with all kinds of stuff that has nothing to do with the truth of who you are. Why? I, Jesus says, I'm preparing a place for you. Like, absolutely. Like we've been given all kinds of opportunities to, to come into allowing more and more space in our being, in our, in our awareness for the truth of who we are. Like this place is being prepared in us, for us. Even that, you hardly have to do anything. Like hardly have to, you have to only be willing that that occurs to you and it's taking place. See, if you if you read this in, in now, in this time, with this experience that we have, with, with the practice that we're doing, it's really beautiful to see how well this fits and how 
absolutely timely this is like it works so perfectly with all that we use in in terms of all that we um, uh, say practice in our daily lesson or in our meditations that we do or in the tapes that we listen to however that is coming to you of whatever you practice but it's like this place is being prepared in you in my father's house are many mansions like infinity doesn't have any restrictions whatsoever here it is it is given to you um. okay so our lord we do not know where you are going and how we how can we know the way and jesus said to him i am the living god the way the truth and the life and no man comes to my father but by me alone if you had known me you also would have known my father and from this hour you do know him and you have seen him and that is that is the same as what i said like this is the perfect day for that for you to let this occur like the hour has come for you to hear what i'm saying what i'm sharing and actually allow this experience to come to you that this is the perfect time for that like whenever are you going to allow yourself in doing this you know where to go you know where that place is and you uh, you know um, that you just have to be present in fact that there's not so much being asked of you to do this just releasing the fear of that something is taken away from you or releasing the fear that you step into an unknown place which isn't what it is at all So Jesus in this time talks to his disciples who actually have no idea what he's talking about. And um, see, something shifted because you actually know what I'm talking about. So there has been a change, like there has some change has been made in that sense that you, that you actually know what this is about. Even though um, you might not have, an, say, a recent conscious experience of it. But you know where to go and and you will be say jesus joins you in this story in this action of mind he he helps you to do this in all kinds of ways just by listening to this what has been written in in john and it can be in all kinds of ways but this is the time that that you can let this happen Okay, so I skip a few sentences. At 12, I read this, John 14, 12. Timeless truth, I tell you. Whoever believes in me, those works which I have done, he will also do. And he will do greater works than these, because I'm going to the presence of my Father. And anything that you will ask in my name, I shall do for you that the Father may be glorified in his Son. And if you will ask me my name, I shall... If you will ask me in my name, I shall do this. If you love me, keep my commandments. So timeless truth is this then. Whoever believes in me, who those works which I have done, he will do also. And he will do greater works than these, because I'm going to the presence of my Father. See, and that is another beautiful step into this. Like, this is what's being asked. Like, okay, follow, in that sense, follow Jesus' direction. And his direction is coming into the presence of the Father. This is literally inviting you to to have an experience of direct communication with with god so this is what we practice in the meditation too later on it's like that's exactly what's being asked here to follow that follow that like yeah i'm come into the presence of my father you're coming into my presence in fact so and then greater works will you do it's, it doesn't mean that you go out into the world to, to to do I don't know what kind of project. It's like, no, that has nothing to do with it. It's more like 
you allow this to be whole in you and that is going to be your expression of it you literally let this come to life in you in your awareness and that is what's being asked of you like that is your mission if you want a mission <laughs> so really great really great to to have this uh, given to us and using this in on on this beautiful day you know like here's the invitation so are you getting warmed up for the meditation to to receive s these words again in total stillness in total quietness where you allow yourself to sink deep into your consciousness to to come in touch with what is being shared and maybe have a revelation of the truth of who you are well that certainly is the is is the possibility that's being offered to you let me see if i oh yeah this is also beautiful of course um peace i leave with you my peace i give to you it is not as the world gives that i give to you do not let your heart be troubled and do not let it be afraid. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. It is not as the world gives that I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not let it be afraid. So and that is and that is the um again the c calming words like peace be to you like this is what i offer you i offer you peace in all circumstances i offer you peace i'm here to to just do that like my my christ consciousness does not want anything but that and and every say moment that i take for myself to to become still and accept this for myself will be an extension of that then i see that there's no reason to be afraid then i see that there's nothing to worry about that that was only taking place on a very superficial level of my consciousness and as soon as i allow myself to go deeper inward then i see that there's stillness and maybe a moment of peace or a moment of communication or light that suddenly is palpable that you can experience so peace be to you i love that it's like peace be to you relax just one peace nothing else there's nothing is going to be taken away from you nothing is you know, stopping you from accepting this there's nothing to be afraid of so this is our preparation for the meditation <laughs> so i i put some of the words um on paper in a pdf i send it to to the ones that are here and you can read it on the website too and um so I'll use these words in the meditation. So it will start in a moment. After the meditation, of during the meditation, I'll repeat this a couple of times. After the meditation, uh, I play a song. Like last night, a song came to me again. Like, okay, well, I'm going to share that here. Um, so relax into that even more. And use it too to to uh, let it comfort you to let it open you even more or whatever is given in the moment like whatever it does with you so here we go the the meditation Timeless truth, I tell you. Timeless truth, I speak to you. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God and believe in me. 
I'm the living God, the way, the truth and the life. I go and prepare a place for you. I shall come again and bring you to join me. No man comes to my Father but by me alone. Timeless truth I speak to you. Whoever receives him whom I send receives me. And whoever receives me receives him who sent me. The world will not see me, but you shall see me. Anything you ask in my name I shall do for you, that the Father may be glorified in his Son. I am going to the presence of my Father. Love one another, just as I have loved you. You should also love one another. Peace I give to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Timeless truth I tell you, and timeless truth I speak to you. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God and believe in me. I am the living God, the way, the truth and the life. I go and prepare a place for you. I shall come again and bring you to join me. No man comes to my Father but by me alone. Timeless truth I speak to you. Whoever receives, whoever receives him whom I send receives me. 
Whoever receives me, receives him who sends me. The world will not see me, but you shall see me. Anything you ask in my name, I shall do for you that the Father may be glorified in his Son. I'm going to the presence of my Father. Love one another, just as I have loved you. You should also love one another. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Timeless truth, I tell you. Timeless truth, I speak to you. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God and believe in me. I am the living God, the way, the truth and the life. I go and prepare a place for you. I shall come again and bring you to join me. No man comes to my Father but by me alone. Timeless truth I speak to you. Whoever receives him whom I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. The world will not see me, but you shall see me. Anything you ask in my name I shall do for you that the Father may be glorified in his Son. I'm going to the presence of my Father. Love one another, just as I have loved you. You should also love one another. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Mm -hmm. 